Hello and welcome to this qualitative 360 pre-event interview with Howard Josephs. Howard, I'm delighted that you could join me. Do you want to first of all give a little introduction to yourself? Uh, yes, thank you for, uh, for inviting me to, uh, to have a chat with you today. Um, yes, my name is Howard Josephs. I, am, uh, I, I work for a company called Sea Research Limited. It is my own company. Um, I've been a coral researcher, an international coral researcher for about 10 years. I've been working for myself for the last... Uh, for the last two, and um, yeah, it's, uh, it's good to be here. Awesome. So you're going to be doing a paper at this upcoming event, and uh, I'd like to know a little bit about it. Uh, yeah, I'm going to be talking uh, about uh, what I call 4D qual. So um, my paper actually will be a, um, a group exercise, um, whereby I'm going to do a short presentation, and then um, the attendees of the conference are going to break into, into smaller teams in order to complete um, for, uh, for tasks. But essentially, um, what 4D Qual is about is just this idea of how you can take qualitative research to the next level, if you like, to the top table in business, and looking at what techniques um, uh, you know, can be employed in order to help do that. There is a, there is a view very much that, that one of the downsides to qualitative research is that it can be seen very much as, as, as a single point in time. And one of the um, one of the ideas behind uh, the, the thinking, if you like, behind 4D qual, I mean, is something that I've developed with um, uh, with a fellow researcher called uh, Karen Cooper, who unfortunately can't join us in this now. But one of the thoughts we had is is that it's about taking a research process and beyond just that point in time and stretching it out in order to really think about um, uh, how you research right from the very moment, even before you receive a brief, to a debrief and beyond. Okay, and so 4D research is the first I've heard of it. Is this something that's very, very new that you've just worked on developing? Well, I'll let you into a little secret. To be honest with you, we're not proposing anything anything that's actually new, to be fair. There's always new techniques and new approaches and new ways of doing things which which, uh, which kind of uh, you know, filter through within core research. I think it's more a way of thinking, if you like, of saying actually you don't need to just be stuck behind a particular way of doing things and it's about looking at all the different ways and means that we have at our disposal, disposable in order to, to be able to take research and say, actually, um, you know, it doesn't, have, it doesn't have to be some, as I say, some, some fixed moment in time. And at the same time, it doesn't involve necessarily spending hundreds of thousands of pounds in, in order to, to find answers out, although obviously that's great if clients are up for it. But certainly it is about sort of saying what, different are, what are the different ways and means, be it looking at... Um, Approaching problems from a different angle, thinking more uh, more clearly, more uh, thinking sorry, I should say, thinking with more clarity in terms of who you actually want to speak to, mm -hmm. and what are the different ways of actually getting access to those people, um, and and even all the way through from well, stakeholders in any given project to participants um, to as I say, um, how do you almost boil down a given research project into that five minute elevator pitch that needs to go right to the uh, to the CEO kind of thing? Yeah. And so, how about methodologies with this 4D research? Yeah. What, how do you approach that? So, I think the most important thing is always to be uh, what we call methodologically neutral. So, it's always about finding the best approach to to answer to answer the given question at hand, but whilst also understanding the constraints of budget. Yeah. Um, some some clients appreciate a particular way of doing things, but it is about also saying, you know, thinking through and thinking. Actually, what are the different ways that I can that I can extend the reach of something, extend the insight that I can get? So, from a methodological standpoint, um, of course, uh, we we Karen and I absolutely advocate the use of what are called now traditional research methodologies, focus groups, interviews, and things. But also thinking beyond again, how can you use online things like diaries, online diaries, or online chats, um, to to supplement and build on your learning? And stakeholder interviews, even what we call just sitting in, in Starbucks or McDonald's and listening mm. to, to what people are talking about, um, obviously using social media and exploring uh, uh, you know, um, in much greater depth what are the conversations that people are having. And the point being that that doesn't have to be at a fixed point in time, I'm saying this is when the field work is, almost saying actually I'm going to start some of those things right from the very moment that I receive the brief or, or that I receive the go-ahead to go go on a project and using them as inspiration both before the research, during the research and uh, beyond after the research. That's very interesting. I'm looking forward to, to hearing all about it at the event. Um, if we can discuss a little bit about uh, the event itself. 
Um, aside from promoting your paper, which I'm, I'm sure you, that's one of the reasons you go in there, uh, is there anything else you're looking forward to? Any other particular reasons that are taking you to Istanbul? Yeah, I think uh, I think um, one of the attractions uh, for me has certainly been. Um, I, was, I was lucky enough to go last year, and that's my first time I've gone to the Forum since. Um, and I, I enjoyed it very much, although interestingly, um, the focus was very much on online research. And one of the things I think I took away from it and realised was that, hey, actually, um, you know, I, 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 I very much see the value of online research, and I do use it um, in, uh, as part of the the, the um, uh, what's the word the, the kind of approaches at my disposal. But I think um, what I'm quite excited about this year's uh, conference is that is that it's very much been widened out. It's looking at much more. Uh, kind of uh, big issues, if you like, in terms of what uh, what what are the what are the key things that coral researchers have to think about, um, you know, into the future, and all this keep coral alive and keep it growing and keep it relevant. And I like the fact that yes, there's a lot of there is still the focus on new methodologies, but there is also a lot of um, uh, from the papers, uh, you know, that are going to be talked about. There is a lot of focus on on just just always keeping on top of thinking how do we do things. How do we stay relevant? How do we uh, stay stay valuable to our clients? Howard, thank you very much for joining me today. Um, I'm looking thank forward you, to seeing your paper and and yourself as well, of course, at the event. Thanks. And uh, yeah, thank you very much for joining me. Good stuff. Take care. Bye bye.